Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 16 iPhone tricks that you didn't know existed on iOS 16. Now iOS 16 is of course packed with new features and changes and there are a lot of hidden tricks and features that you probably don't know about. So you must learn them because they're pretty cool and most of them are actually very, very useful as well. Before we get into the first trick, I wanna show you guys an extra trick and that's hitting the subscribe button underneath this video. That really helps out a lot and most of you guys that are actually watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so please make sure to do so. It really really helps out a lot. And let's get started with the first one. So head on to the camera roll of your device. You know that on iOS you can filter albums based on photos that you have edited and unedited. Well, with iOS 16, you can also filter the camera roll of your device. Yes, finally you can do that. All you have to do is go to the camera roll and tap the three dots right there. And once you have done that, you will get this pop-up and you will have filter here. Now, if you go to filter, you will have quite a few options here. So you will have favorites, you filter and you show just the favorites. Then you have the edited photos, then you have photos or just videos. So you can choose to filter your camera roll based on these criteria right here or you can choose to include or not include photos that have been shared with you with the new iOS 16 feature. Another cool trick on iOS 16 is that now you can finally also turn off live photos after you have taken them. Now I prefer to keep live photos on on the camera while I take a picture of course because sometimes I just want to get like the right shot and of course the live photos will let you do that. Well now if you want to send a photo to someone maybe with airdrop or something like that you can actually turn off the live photo feature after you have shot the photo. Simply open the photo tap right there where it says live and just turn it off and you're good to go. Now you no longer have that live photo, you just have a normal photo. As you probably know, on iOS 16, you can drag the subject from a photo pretty easily and remove the background of that subject. Well, you can do that with video as well. So here I have a video that I have playing. What I can do here is tap and hold. You can see it will select it. And now I can actually select that subject as easy as that. So just like it works with photos, it works with videos as well. Now I can copy this or I can tap the share button. And from here, I can even save this as an image or just share it anywhere I want. Now this right here is a pretty cool trick. Whenever you select photos on iOS, you can see if I tap select, I can select all right here and now I wanna share them. I don't have to actually reach for the button here. All I have to do is just 3D touch anywhere on the screen and you can see it will actually gather all the photos together and it will show me here the number of photos that I have there and of course will show me the menu as well. So from here, I can duplicate all of these at the same time. I can create a slideshow or maybe add them to an album or just reverse all of them to their original state before being edited. The video player on iOS 16 has gotten new interface, which I personally don't prefer. The older one was way better in my opinion, but there is a trick that you can use with this new video player. So you will have the video scrubber here. So it doesn't actually need your finger to be right here to move around on a video. All you have to do is just place the finger anywhere on the screen and just drag it around and you can move through the video. Of course, the slower you move the finger, the slower it will go. But if you just wanna go faster, you can do it just like that. And you can see how fast it actually moves. The spotlight search on iOS 16 has gotten some really cool new features. And one that I prefer is that it allows to open links directly from the spotlight search when you have a link copied on your clipboard. So you copy a link, you don't even need to open Safari, you just go to search and they will have it. You tap on it, it will open it on Safari. Or what you can do is also just 3D touch on it and show a preview of that thing right here on search without even needing to go into the Safari app. Pretty cool and of course a very, very useful feature. Now right here we have a new button for search. So you swipe down to go to search or you tap to go to search. Previously right here we used to have the dots that of course indicated the home screen pages but now they have been replaced with a search. But the functionality is actually still there. You can still swipe here to move between different pages. So you can see once you do that or once you move between pages, it will show the dots, but then they will be replaced by the search button. But the functionality is there still. You can just go ahead and move between home pages just by swiping here. 
And now let's move on to the files app. So the files app has gotten some new features and some new tricks as well. As I showed you guys previously on the photos app, you can now remove the background from photos. You can do that on the files app as well. So if you have a photo here, all you have to do is just tap and hold the subject and it will basically do the same. The same feature that you have on the photos app will be on the files app as well. And one really cool thing that you can do with photos from the files app is that you can actually convert them directly from here without even even needing to have a third party app. So just open a photo and tap right there where it says the name of the photo. You see that little arrow. You tap right there and tap on export. And now you will get options here. So you have JPEG, PNG and HEIF right here will have three like different formats to which you can export this this is really really cool of course you can choose the size here let's go with large and then from here of course you will be able to actually export it and save it anywhere you want another really useful trick on the files app will let you put a file into a folder pretty easily so let's say you have a file here that you want to create a new folder for that file and put it on that folder all you have to do is just tweak the touch on that file and it will give you the option right here new folder with item you tap right there it creates the new folder and of course once you're done with that you will have the new folder and you have that file on that folder that's actually really really cool and super super useful here's the last file trick for this video when you move a file into a different folder on the files app on ios 16 you can actually undo that pretty quickly so if i just move this photo right here what i can do now is just tap and hold on a blank space and it says undo move of the name of the file and you can undo that pretty quickly as you probably know with ios 16 we now finally have a list of contacts well a pretty cool new feature also lets you export those contacts so whether you have the lists here all of your contacts or any of the lists you have created you can just really touch on that list tap on export and from here you can actually go ahead and export these files course the contact cards and you can also filter the fields just tap right there and it will show you here all the fields that are included on these contacts that you have on that list and you can choose which fields you want to actually share or not and just like that you can export a total list of contacts now if you're on a list of contacts and you have a few contacts that you want to move to another list the easiest way to do it simply drag one like this and then you can also tap on the other ones and as you can see it will collect them like this just like you do with photos and then just like this release them to the other folder to the other other list actually and you're good to go now here's another one for contacts if you have some contacts that you have really really important and you want to always be sure that you have read their messages make sure you add the contacts widget on the home screen because now with ios 16 whenever you have an unread message from a contact which you have on your home screen it will actually show you that you have an unread message from that contact now many times when we are maybe working something or doing something maybe around the house or around the yard or anywhere and we cannot actually take a look at our iphone but we want to listen all the notifications that we get with that of course you need to have airpods on your ear well with ios 16 you can actually have iphone announce your notification through the speaker and that can be done pretty easily all you have to do is go to settings under accessibility and right here we have siri go ahead and make sure you have enabled announced notifications on speaker just like that you enable it and you're good to go you have now your notifications announced on the speaker never again miss a notification on your iphone you always know what notifications you're receiving but of course enabling this for all of the apps will be a total mess so you can always go here and pick whichever of these apps you want to enable to send you notifications through the speaker of course you might just leave on some of the most important apps like the phone maybe your iMessage or email or some things like that and all the other ones you can just turn them off 
And last but not least, on iOS 16, when you open a website that offers an app, just like I have opened Shazam right here, of course, Shazam offers an app on the App Store, you no longer have to tap here and go to the App Store to install the app. You can now actually install apps directly from the website. So with this pop-up, all I have to do is just tap right there, and now it's installing the app on my device without me having to open the App Store at all. You can see how easy that is you no longer need to move away from the website you can just have the app installed in a few seconds so that's basically it for this video guys these are 16 iphone tricks that i believe every ios 16 user should know thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one